Hey there, Aquarius, Aquarius, Sun, Moon, and Rising Sign. This is your March 2021 Love Monthly Forecast reading with me, Chrissy, from IndieStarsByChrissy.com. I do apologize for the late uploads for this month. Um, it's been a really hectic and very busy month for me, and I'm very thankful for the repeat clients that I've been getting, especially for my Aquarius Sign people um, who have been reaching out to me. I really appreciate that. So um, thank you for um, continue um, asking me for readings and ritual works. And so, um, yeah, uh, I will try to make it up to you again next month um, to post it a little bit more earlier. So, um, yeah, anyways, um, please do know that this is a general reading. So it may or may not be necessary for each and every Aquarius people out there. So just keep that in mind. And um, we are going to be taking a look this month on the influences, energy that might be transpiring for us for the month of March. And since oh, it's already mid-month, um, a lot of these themes might be already something that is already influencing you as we speak, as you watch this video, if you ever see it. And um, some of the information might be something that you are still about to encounter. So um, please do know that this is really more of a predictive style of reading to see what are the energies and influences that might be transpiring for us. So you will have to use your own intuition to relate this to your own specific situation during this time all as well. So just keep that in mind, those informations. So um, yeah, anyway, without any further ado, let's just go into the reading. Now, um, let us see. First of all, we do have the card of Mercury here, um, which is the overall theme that you might be um, experiencing or having some form of influence this month. And Mercury is all about thoughts, all about communications. And many times it has a lot to do with organization, things that we need to do. Um, it, it has a lot to do with our responsibilities, but it's not really heavy like how it's going to be if we are taking a look on Saturn. I just kind of feel that Mercury is the sign of, you know, a lot of things that we need to do in everyday life, you know, and the things that we are, um, the things that happen to us in, uh, in our everyday life, uh, all about market, all about trade and all of that. Or um, it can be simply something to do with how we talk to people or our thought patterns and all of those kind of stuff anyways um the first card that we have over here is the justice card crossing over with the moon and the justice is all about you know um uh, there could be something in your life that you need to make a decision of or there's something that you need to do but maybe you are hesitating to do to do them and whenever the justice card is there it's like you're trying to balance out two options two things there's something that you might want to begin there's some there's some form of project that is um surrounding you right now there's some form of thoughts that you want to harmonize that you want to balance you know there could be things in your life that you have postponed and things in your life that you have been contemplating and you don't know what path it is to take and even if you know i kind of feel that you're still juggling here and there on another note i kind of feel that you are aware that some form of new beginning is something that you need to pursue you know you, you are aware that something has to happen you know some form of change needs to occur in to your current situation to your current setup and um, so it gives me a feeling we're in, even though it seems as if you're lost, even though it seems as if you're confused, at the end of the day, you also know the right path or decision to take. It's like, you know, I'm not comfortable in, in doing this, but I know that I have to do what I have to do. And it could also be that, you know, your intuition is very strong during this time, or you could be at the point where in maybe you're, you need to go out of your comfort zone and you are hesitant about it. I mean, 
um, normally Aquarius people are not going to have a difficult time with this, but maybe you do have a strong fixed sign. For example, if you have a lot of Scorpios and Scorpios do do a lot of risking when it comes to you know jumping into conclusions and making some form of decisions they do take the risk it's just that if you are some sometimes there if you have um some form of combination of pisces maybe you know you have a strong fixed energy in your chart um you are going to prioritize security in a sense we're in if something is not 100% sure, you are hesitant to take action, you know, you, you, you feel conflicted, especially, you know, as we grow old, we experience a lot of stuff. And especially if um, you have all, you're already, already some form of fears that it did not work out before. So I'm quite hesitant to, to do them again, or to take a similar action. Um, or something like that uh, it makes you feel hesitant you know you're not willing to let go you're not willing to um, to take the risk so there are those kinds of energies that are play that we are getting here but uh, we are also seeing that you know you're now at the point where in you you are willing to compromise you're willing to talk things out and if this is a relationship setup, this could be a situation maybe that you are, you know, there is something in the in your love life, in your relationship that you are not sure what to do about. But um, maybe you have been very solo the way how you do things, how you handle things is a very, um, very, I'm not, I'm not going to say selfish, but um you're just thinking about yourself <laughs> um well that is selfishness in its own way but what i mean is that y you are your own individual and um the way that i'm seeing here is that it does not seem that you have been working together with a specific person in the past or at the very least um maybe it is because you have been let down. There was some form of situation that has um, disappointed you in the past. Um, and that could be the reason why you are very hesitant about it. And you are not willing to to work things out with them. However, you are also at the point wherein you are willing to give things a chance. And you are willing to work things out again maybe you're you're thinking about communicating with someone talking with someone once again all those kinds of things and um this can also be a situation wherein you are sorting out your mind you know the things that that you really really want you know the person that you really really want to be with or the kind you know there is some form of ideal setup that you are thinking about right now and you want to make sure that you're you're setting everything is perfect basically <laughs> and um, even though you can tell yourself that you want to be sure that everything is going to be perfect i mean realistically speaking and nothing is really perfect in this world so and you are aware of that and that is probably why you feel torn up or there are some form of fears that is surrounding you during this time you know it's not very obvious i'm not saying that you are in a very desperate situation i'm not saying that you're very depressed at all um, i don't see a form of depression right there i mean at the very least it's not really obvious you know you're not emotionally wrecked um, but I do see some form of worries and some form of anxieties that surrounds you from time to time since um, this nine of swords fell out when I was casting um, this reading as well. And we also have here the, the ten of swords, which is um, a big part that is telling us about how you are doing right now, what you're feeling right now. So um, you are... You are actually um, having this emotional tendencies to you all at the same time. And so um, I kind of feel that you are at the verge of in between a choice of whether to move on, what decision did I have to do. I kind of feel that for some of you, um, you will have to make a choice 
between two things and two important things in, in your life and um, this could be very different for each each and every one of you it could be between two people you know it could be with a man a or a man b or a girl a girl b you know um, it could be in between the past and the future the present relationship that that you have or the past relationship you could be at the verge of of you may, you know having decisions like that and and in your head you don't want to make the same mistakes again you don't want to make a mistake again basically is what you're we're seeing here so uh, there is some form of situation here wherein you're willing to start over again you're willing to take an effort to begin once again but at the same time you also feel torn so this enables you to actually take action even though you feel that it is time so i kind of feel that a lot of uh, Aquarius people are going to be, you know, spending the month wherein they are juggling in, with their thoughts, you know, making a decision. And I'm not really sure if you're going to make a decision because you're too fixated right now with everything to go in a perfect way. So, um, and because of certain combinations here, I kind of feel that this is making you paralyzed in one way, you know, it, it makes me feel that you're not exactly making a decision and you're waiting things out and um of course it's not my my decision right now to say what is the right path for you because this is just a general reading but um for me um you might have spent a lot of time thinking you know um i kind of feel that you keep thinking of of making the per perfect decision you know the perfect ending for a scenario to the point wherein it becomes hard when you're so fixated on one thing because it enables you to actually take action it enables you to make any form of decision so it gives that feeling that you become stuck in the process you become stuck on the idea you become stuck on wishing for something you become stuck on on, on trying to manifest something but you're not actually manifesting it you're not really making things happen you're just thinking about it you're thinking of the possibilities of life you're thinking and wishing about your hopes and dreams and realities however you're not really making any concrete action and that's really something that you need to overcome you know it's not something that i'm hoping that you will overcome i feel that you know at the end of the day as long as you don't make a move nothing is gonna happen and w with a judgment over here let's go back here <laughs> with a judgment um in your near future position as well i kind of feel that within the month um you are going to find that answer you know something some form of prayers gets answered or some form of a eureka moment maybe that some form of dreams can reveal something to you we do have the moon card over here so we have a lot of water energies a lot of emotions over here as well so maybe your dreams can reveal something to you or you know some maybe there's some form of prophetic dream uh, some form of revelation can come to you right now that helps you in making a decision but um again i will like to repeat that um regardless of what choice or what decision is ideal for you what it is that you want to happen what it is that you you dream and envision things to be it's not gonna happen if you don't make that action if you don't make that decision so i kind of feel that a lot of you guys are you know too fixated about the details to the point wherein it blocks your sight you're not really exactly seeing things for what they are it's like your tunnel you're seeing things in tunnel vision basically you're not seeing everything because you're just focused on certain things so and that really enables you to take action and with mercury being the focal energy here maybe this is telling you that you need to take action you need to communicate you need to talk you need to express what it is that you're thinking 
and you're not, you're supposed to not just you know hide the things that you're feeling you know with the moon and the five cups this uh with this reading it makes me feel that yes you are becoming a lot emotional and it's only you who knows that you know there are certain things that if you don't say people are not gonna know they're never gonna know um and <laughs> not everyone is a psychic <laughs> and sometimes even psychic can only pick up you know certain messages you know they cannot tell you the exact details the exact sentence of what it is that is in your mind so um so for you to achieve your happy ending for you to achieve the goal the hope that you want to have i would say that yes it is important to envision what it is that you truly want but it is also important to make the first step at least make that first step because for me right now you are trying to be on the safe side you know you're trying to balance things you're trying to not ruin the status quo of the situation especially when it comes to relationships you know you could be in love with someone and in a relationship with someone and you're 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 letting two people hang by to you without any without making any choice even though all you wanted is to be happy but you know you have a lot of conflicting feelings going on with you so it's very important to make the decision and i kind of feel that that is the lesson and experience that you will come across especially this month and yeah if you do want to be happy if you do want to have that dream that goal to happen in your life do you know that waiting things out can only let you go so far and eventually you will need to take action you will need to make a decision and and this is not just about you about it's not just about you explaining people or or giving excuses that this is a serious thing that i should not make a, a very impulsive decision but of course this is going to be a case by case basis if you have been debating on this for years or months you know sometimes sometimes um i kind of feel that sometimes you cannot plan everything like a calculator <laughs> or some form of math formula you know you cannot make everything on fixed things um sometimes you need to be flexible and sometimes even though it's not ideal to say something it's not ideal to decide on some things there are sometimes that is you know th there are cases wherein it it is illogical to do them but you have to do them for you to actually receive some form of result for you to lead to some form of ending you know for you to achieve what it is that you truly want you know so and that is the message that i want to tell you guys right now um even though that you are so busy understanding yourself or trying to maintain the balance trying to not create any drama in your life um i kind of feel that you know this is the time we're in you need to you need to follow your heart you need to look on what you truly want what it is that that makes you feel alive what it is that makes you feel complete and um i kind of feel that you know if you are inclined to do something go back into something um and you are concerned of what other people are going to say what they you are concerned of what other people are going to are going to think i kind of feel that this is not really the point this is not really the time to think about what they are going to say because this is the time to focus on what it is important for you what it is that makes you happy what it is that will will give you some form of joy and um this is like a fated kind of a situation for you because you have been waiting and waiting um being stubborn about certain things um time and time again but uh there is some form of calling this month that you need to do at the very least you will have that awareness this month that something needs to change and waiting is not going to serve you anymore any longer you know 
So for you to remove that that anxiety, you need to do something to fulfill your own desire. And the decision that comes with that is, of course, depending on you and your situation. Anyway, thank you guys for watching and tuning in with me. And um, if you do want a personal reading, you can do that by booking a session through my website in the starslikechristy.com. And I shall see you guys again next month. Goodbye.